Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John. Today I have a new uh, ranking video. So it's for the band Demon Hunter. So before I begin, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do uh, rock and metal reviews, rankings, and a lot more stuff. So I discovered the band uh, Demon Hunter about four years ago. It was a time when I was uh, looking for a heavy band, but with positive, uplifting lyrics. And since this is a Christian band, you know, I immediately became a fan. This band can be described as a cross between uh, new metal and metal core. You know, they are heavy and melodic. And if you're a fan of either of those subgenres, I think you would definitely like this band. I will be ranking uh, 10 studio albums. I will not include the new album, Songs of Death and Resurrection. You know, that album is just a compilation of all the songs. So that's why I didn't include it. And I won't include any other uh, compilations or live albums. Let me get this uh, video started so I can keep this video at a decent length. Coming in at number 10 is Outlive. So this is their eighth studio album released in 2017. Now it is ranked last, but this is also the first album that I've ever heard from this band. So it was good enough to get me interested in this band. It just lacks a little bit in the songwriting department and might be a little on the more like a commercial side. Cold Winter Sun is a pretty good song. You know, it's more like straightforward metalcore with some hard rock influences. And Died In My Sleep is another metalcore song, but also has some like electronic and pop elements. Not a really bad album, but I just have it ranked at number 10. At number nine, I have War. So this is their ninth or 10th album you know they, they released a double album in 2018 alongside with peace and this is the heavier album of the two being that it's heavy you would think that i would rank it higher than you know the other album peace but it is like a little weaker but it's not a really bad album the standout track is lesser gods it's very heavy and melodic song and the album opener cut to fit is also one of the standout tracks i think there's just like a little bit of filler in this album but it's not too bad of an album. Coming in at number eight is Peace. Now this is the other album that was released in 2018, so it can be considered a ninth or 10th album. But this is more of like a ballads album or more of a, I would consider it more of a hard rock album. The songs are pretty good. More Than Bones, that's a, a classic. One of their very, it's a very good song. Loneliness is very melodic, has a very like memorable guitar riff and a really good song called when the devil come it's a really good uh, rock song and almost has like this southern rock feel this album is not too bad but i have it ranked at number eight at number seven i have storm the gates of hell so this is their fourth album this was released in 2007. now this album is pretty good it's a little more on the melodic side the title track opens up the album and just comes right out at the gate and knocks you over it reminds me a little of uh, Pantera, almost like uh, into that like extreme metal kind of thing. You know, Carry Me Down, that's another good song, one of their melodic ballads. I Am You, another good song, very uh, heavy and fast. And the album closes with The Wrath of God. And the song has kind of like an industrial metal feel. This is a pretty good album, but just the other albums are just a lot better. Coming in at number six is The World is a Thorn. So this is their fifth album, released in 2010 and often called their heaviest yet most melodic album. Now this album, it probably has one of my favorite songs by Demon Hunter of all time called Life War. It's a two minute song, super heavy, has this really awesome chorus and awesome like verse riff. I really like this song, but other than that, uh, most of the songs are good. Collapsing, more of a straightforward metalcore song, has some like electronic elements. Tie Around Your Neck, another pretty cool uh, song. It's a headbanger, you know. It gets a little extreme at time. And Blood and the Tears, that's a pretty good ballad. And I really like the, com the guitar tone in that one. It's a really interesting tone. Coming in at number five is Extremist. So this is their seventh album released in 2014. It has one of the most popular ballads called I Will Fail You. 
Another one of our most popular songs is Cross the Bear. It's a very uh, heavy song filled with heavy riffs and has these like blast beats. Beyond Me, it's more of a melodic song, but still a very heavy song. This album also features Artificial Light, which is a straightforward metalcore song. And the intro is a little reminiscent of Event Sevenfold. This is a very good album, solid all the way through. Have it ranked at number five. Number four is their self-titled uh, album called Demon Hunter. Their debut, released in 2002, and this is a heavy album. Now, this is the album that reminds me a lot of the band Slipknot. Demon Hunter is a band that usually uses the drop B tuning, but this album was in drop C. A solid album throughout, and will definitely please fans of uh, heavy music. And my favorite song from this album is the song Infected. At number three, I have Summer of Darkness. So this is their second album. It was released in 2004. Now this album is very heavy. You know, I think um, it incorporates a little more like melody in, in their songs. The album opens with uh, Not Ready to Die, which is a well-known track, very heavy, but it's also very melodic. My Heart Strings Come Undone. Um, it's one of their ballads, it's also very well known. And um, another uh, good track is Beauty Through the Eyes of a Predator and also I Play Dead. Those are two awesome uh, tracks and I really like this album a lot. Solid all the way through and I have it at number three. At number two, I have one of the fan favorites. A lot of people would probably put this at number one, but uh, for me, there's one more album that I like better. Um, so this album is called True Defiance. This is their sixth album, released in 2012. You know, many say this is their heaviest album. The album opens with uh, the song called Crucifix. It's a very heavy song and almost like an extreme metal song. God Forsaken, another great song. It's more like metalcore. This one has these galloping riffs and uh, tremolo picking leads. And this album also has one of the most well-known ballads called uh, Dead Flowers. Okay, at number one, I have The Triptych. So this is the third album released in 2005. Now this is a solid 10 out of 10 album, a perfect blend of new metal and metal core. It's very heavy, has you know harsh like guttural vocals and also some melodic vocals. It's a really good mix. Some of my favorite tracks are uh, Not I, so that's a real headbanger. Another great track is called Deteriorate. This is one of their like best ballads. The Science of Lies, this is probably one of my favorite songs, maybe my second favorite song after uh, Life War. Very heavy song. And the song that kind of caused me to put this to number one is their cover song. They don't really do a lot of covers, but they did, did a cover of Prong's uh, Snap Your Finger, Snap Your Neck. Kind of gives us the album a little like Industrial Edge. This is, again, an awesome album. Really love it. So this is my number one. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section. So, what do you think of the band Demon Hunter? Give me your ranking of their albums or get, do a top five, you know, whatever you like. So coming up next, it's the weekend, so we have some new releases coming up. We have Rob Zombie. We have a band called Thunder. And uh, the band uh, Blackmore's Night featuring uh, Richie Blackmore from Rainbow as well as his wife uh, Candace Knight. That's a pretty cool, uh, kind of like a folk rock band. I'll probably do my uh, part three of my favorite year in metal with some more albums from 1989, so stay tuned. Check out my other videos that are linked right here. I have the new uh, review from Demon Hunter, Songs of Death and Resurrection. My full review will be right there. And another new release will be right there. So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.